Uh, here is the ultrasound imaging muscle. Uh, this is where I think uh, I'm really excited. Because here's where we can actually get some information on the tissues that we're dealing with on a day to day basis. <coughs> so, this is Dr. Kawakami uh, from Japan. Uh, next, please. And here you see the muscle, and here you see the ultrasound of this same muscle. It's the same thing up here. Next, please. And so, here you see the muscle, the muscle fibers are going at a certain direction, and you can then the white here is the fascia. The muscle itself doesn't show up. What you see here is the fascia between the muscle. So ultrasound is an excellent way to look at it. Next picture. And you can see how those angles are changing. Okay, next. So here, here's the setup. So you have a human with the leg going down this way. With Achilles tendon. And that's point is braced here. And he's doing an ultrasound here, right, uh, right across the cashmere's muscle. Here you see. Next, please. And you can see how those angles are changing a little bit. When you do isometric plantar flexion, in other words, he's pushing with the muscles, the foot isn't moving, the bones aren't moving, but the angle is changing. If the angle is changing, it means the muscle is moving, which means the tendon has to be changing length. Because if the muscle changes length and the bones don't move, the tendon also has to be <coughs> changing length. Next, please. You can see the arm moving back and forth. Next. Next. You can see, keep on. You can see how the, the, the angles are changing as you move, as the muscle is contracting and relaxing. But it's isometric, so bones aren't changing. So the result is that the tendinous structures are really acting as a power amplifier. You can't separate out the muscles and the tendons, they function as a unit. Just as before, when I was looking at muscles and ligaments function as a unit, muscles and the tendons also function as a unit. And I think that that's what we're going to find. The, the musculoskeletal ultrasound is going to give us some, some measuring tools for evaluating the kinds of therapies we do and, and guiding us in, in new directions. And that's just the mechanical side. I haven't gone into the hormonal side. I haven't gone into the psychological side. I haven't gone into the integration. Each one of these is a new area that provides us information.